Hey cruisers, happy live stream night. I hope everyone is doing wonderfully. Thank you all so very much for being here. We have a wonderful um, group here in the pre-chat talking all about their next cruise. This is so exciting. We've got some adventures from folks coming up really soon here, which is awesome. Very, very cool. We were just down in Galveston last weekend for the Carnival Jubilee naming ceremony and we had such good weather. I don't know how we got so lucky, but it was like 75 or 80 degrees, perfectly sunny, gorgeous, gorgeous day on the coast, like very little wind. It could not have been better for people who were getting on Jubilee that day and sailing away. I was like, wait, what is this? A month ago, keep in mind, just one month ago in Texas, it was 17 degrees with snow on the ground and remember how much my electric bill cost. We won't even talk about that again. I won't even reveal those terrible details. I want to give a big shout out to our back. Uh, backstage crew here. Our backstage crew are our patrons who help support us. If you want to learn more, go to patreon.com slash cruise tips TV. And please, those of you who are part of our Patreon community or our Facebook supporters, please type crew into the chat so that everyone can see who you are. Um, I want to welcome Brad Roland. Brad just subscribed. Thank you, Brad. Good to see you there. Brad got a little graphic on the screen tonight, a little crab little crabby crab. So we're going to answer cruise questions. We're going to talk about the latest news release from um, Princess Cruises. They just got, uh, gave us some more information on Spellbound. It was kind of tucked away and hidden in an article about the culinary options that are going to be on Sun Princess. And um, they revealed the price. They revealed that it's going to be a dinner, magic, and drink thing, that there's going to be three seatings a night. Very, very interesting stuff. Awesome. I'm seeing all my wonderful backstage crew here. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. I see all of you. I'm not going to read everybody's names because, again, if I miss someone, I always feel really bad. So know that I'm looking at it, and I see you, and I see you guys on our Zoom call. And I see you every week when I put together our um, the list of patrons that we roll at the beginning. Um, our Facebook supporters are not on that list because I have no way of seeing your names, which is super frustrating. But I, um, regardless, I appreciate you. And I will make sure that everybody on the Facebook supporter side also gets the Zoom link every month to come hang out with us. So nice to see everybody here. I um, also had the great pleasure of meeting one of our patrons this last weekend. I got to meet Heather Lee. She's actually here in the chat. Heather is a wonderful travel agent and we got to hang around for a while and walk around the ship and take some photos and videos together. She is absolutely wonderful and um, I'm so honored that I got the chance to spend some time with her. So hi, Heather. Nice to see you again. I never did get that um, Shaq's chicken sandwich I wanted. I was like, I'm going back for a Shaq's big chicken. Of course I never did. I wish I would have. I wanted it. I was hungry for it, but it was like run, 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 you know? So I never did it. Oh man. <clears throat> so yes. Oh, very cool. William said, as a chef, you got my attention. Yeah, there's a lot going on in that article that I just dropped in there, you guys, about this new princess announcement. Um, basically, I'll sum things up for you. Sun Princess is the new ship that's coming out. It's just, it's launching tomorrow. Hopefully, the sailing is going to happen tomorrow. It's supposed to be the inaugural. And they have all kinds of new dining concepts on it. They have a sushi restaurant. They have teppanyaki. They also have Spellbound, which we, none of us really knew if it was going to be just drinks and magic, but it turns out it's going to be dinner drinks and magic. And if you guys want to learn more about it, the price point is in the article I just popped in there. You can read all about it and learn about the other culinary experiences on Sun as well. And let's get to some cruise questions now. Type them into the chat. Lisa Vegas said, how was the drive to Galveston? It was beautiful both ways. We had a little bit of traffic going down, was it? We get, did we hit the traffic going down, honey, or coming back? Coming back. Yeah, we hit some traffic coming back. Heather, Heather messaged me and said, oh, my gosh, there's a couple lanes closed on the way down. But we, we missed that one. But on the way back, we went right through the middle of Houston, and there was um, some kind of hazard, and we never saw the hazard, but it really slowed us down by a good 30 minutes. But it was a beautiful drive. It, you know, we're so lucky that we can drive to port. It's not a short drive. It's like four or five hours, depending on the traffic and how many times we stop to use the restroom or eat. Um, but I still feel very fortunate. 
Thank you, Tam Carp. Tam Carp said, them colors look great on you. Well, thank you, darling. This shirt is actually on sale. It's on sale, and I'm featuring it in our after party tonight on Amazon Live. So if anybody wants to come hang with us after this, we are doing an all deals uh, travel essentials deals live stream tonight on Amazon. Usually we do it around 7 or 7.05 p.m. As soon as the questions start to sh uh, slow down here, we go over there. Heather said I had um, traffic both ways. Yeah, it was a little bit interesting for a Sunday. I thought, Heather, for sure that we wouldn't have traffic on Sunday, which was weird. So, yeah. Okay, let's get to, let's get to some cruise questions. If anybody has questions, by the way, about Galveston, we are building our knowledge base about Galveston. We have now been there twice, and we're really trying hard to explore different things every time we go. You know, new restaurants, new hotels, all that. It's take it's going to take time because Galveston is really big, you guys. It's not like a little teeny tiny golf town. It's big, but we're learning, so ask away. Cruise and Fun said, can I bring 24 bottles of water with me? It depends on the cruise line. If it's Princess Carnival, yes, Royal Caribbean is usually fine with it. Norwegian is no. Rod Burnham said, are you planning to sail the Jubilee on a seven date? Now we are. We don't have anything booked yet, but we're really looking for a seven day on Jubilee. Um, um, now that I've seen the ship, I'm like, okay, yeah, we need to do this. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I uh, the current zone, Dr. Inks, the bar, with, it's, I don't even know, you guys. It's so pretty. It's just a stunning ship. And the the staff and the crew are all smiles. They're just typical, fabulous carnival human beings. I just love carnival employees. I don't know how they do it. So yeah, I definitely want to go back. Um, I would say the ship surprised me. I really want to try all the restaurants, all the food. I really want to try Bolt. I was wearing a dress and open-toed shoes, so I couldn't ride Bolt on my visit, but gorgeous ship. My son will really love it. I know that he's going to be very excited. Um, Alfred Collins said, I'm going on Princess in September. Anything special I need to wear or bring? Yeah, absolutely. I have a Princess Cruises packing list for you, Alfred. Let me put that into the chat for you because there's so many things that we could talk about with that, but I have a specific one for Princess that you're going to want. Um, Alfred, I'm going to go ahead and tag you in the chat um, right now and put that article in because it's really super helpful for princess um, They sometimes have a white and gold party where people dress in white and gold You might want to take like one white shirt that you could wear with jeans if you want It's totally optional, but that is one thing a lot of people don't know about with princess Larry Glynn said Sherry we're doing a day and one half in Galveston before the cruise first time there Okay fun Larry that is really great to know there's so much to do Go check out the seawall walk along the seawall go to the pleasure pier have a wonderful lunch somewhere or dinner There's so many beautiful um, restaurants There's a couple seafood restaurants over on the side by the cruise ships Katie's Willie G's places like that um, if you want something more casual for lunch dining on the seawall, there's a place called The Spot that is awesome. It's a multi-level establishment with multiple restaurants and bars in it. You order at the counter on one side, or you can do sit down and be served. I actually recommend sitting on the side where you order at the counter and sit like up on the top deck and look at the, at the beautiful ocean. Have fun. James McClintock said, do not try Doc Holidays in Galveston. It's not worth it. Okay, I didn't know that. What is Doc Holidays, James? Is it a restaurant? Um, Mary Ellen said carnival is actually no bottled water. You know, what's funny, Mary Ellen. Hi, by the way. Um, it's so funny when we were staying, we were staying in a hotel in Galveston and we were not getting on a cruise for the day, but everybody else was everybody going on carnival had two 12 packs of soda. Literally everyone had just two random 12 packs on top of their suitcase that we saw at the hotel. It was the weirdest thing, but you're right. I never saw any water. Melody Mills said, question, cruising to in um, Alaska, to Alaska in May. Princess will get us to the airport, but 12 hours before the flight. Can we leave the luggage in the room? They drop it off to and tour the city, or do we have to take it with you? I don't know where they're dropping your luggage, Melody. You usually do have to take it with you unless you have make arrangements for Princess to take your luggage to the airport in advance. Um... I think I would book a tour where you can take your luggage if you can. Secretary Weber said, have you 
Have you sailed in the celebration? No, not yet. But I'd love to do celebration Mardi Gras and Jubilee, all of them. I've heard they're wonderful. Dawn's dorky diary said, question, Emerald Princess in June, is the sanctuary worth it? Yeah, for a half day or a day, worth it. Absolutely. Although, you know, Emerald Princess, is Emerald going to Alaska? There's a lot of beautiful open deck places up there, but I love the sanctuary. They have special food. It's very calm and beautiful. I would do a half day. I think that's enough. Um, Asha Campbell said, any packing suggestions for a Mediterranean cruise in September? My mom is going on one with NCL. Yeah, in Asha, in September, it's usually still really warm in the med. It's not like blazing hot like August, but it's still really warm. Very comfortable and worn in walking shoes and sandals. Um, dresses, cotton shorts, cotton clothing, layers, things like that are going to be good. Larry Glenn said, question, have you tried exploring Galveston on the streetcar? No, I want to, though. I think it looks really fun. And my husband's like, I don't know, we might look like tourists. And I'm like, no, it's fun. Let's do it. So I want to do it, Larry. You do it and send me a picture. Cruise and Fun said, can my dining time make a reservation? Oh, my time dining? Uh, is that on Carnival? If so, usually you just say when you want to go and they'll, tell, they'll text you and say, come on down. Um, so I think that you mean Carnival. Crystal said, I booked a three-night cruise with a travel agent. I didn't pay the deposit yet. I changed my mind, and I want to do a longer cruise. Is it too much to ask the travel agent to change the itinerary? Well, if you haven't even paid the deposit yet, no, it's fine. Hey, they're going to make a bigger commission off of you for sailing longer, so you just let them know that. If you really, truly haven't made a deposit yet, you probably haven't really booked the cruise um, unless you did some really low deposit. So talk to them about it and see what they can do. And they'll tell you honestly if they can change it. Brad Rowland said, in a room with two adults and two kids, and the adults have Princess Plus, do the kids need their own package? Um, I don't think that everyone in the room has to have Princess Plus as minors. I think that the first two adults do, but I don't think so. Dave Savard said, Galveston, a cool oil rig museum on the port side. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Dave, we got to do that the first time we went down in December. That was phenomenal. We loved it. We did the whole thing, up all the levels, out outside, next the one next to the tall ship, right? Beautiful, and I highly recommend that you guys do that oil rig museum. It is wonderful. Secretary Weber Davis said, in Galveston, you have to go to the Strand, which might not be Galveston proper, but it's an awesome boardwalk. We love to see amenities. So the Strand is the downtown area, right? That's my understanding is the Strand is the street downtown. The seawall is the is what you would think of as a boardwalk and the pleasure pier is the pier so that's my understanding somebody tell me if i've got it wrong shanna leonard said can you bring bottled water and wine aboard msc oh i don't know let me check their beverage policy policy for you i mean i doubt it with msc but i'm gonna check hang on um you'll be f mm. it says you can't but let me just see. No, it says you can't bring any liquids on board. At least that's what their website is saying. Vernon said, unless I'm mistaken, the issue with the bottled water is the plastic bottles. I think you can do canned like LaCroix. Oh, that's good, Vernon. Thank you. Mike P said, my wife and I are excited. Oh, yeah. Pla no plastics on Princess Carnival. Right. Got it. Uh, Mike P said, my wife and I are excited for our cruise uh, to the Norwegian fjords in early July. How should we expect rain or snow? How warm should we dress? Thanks. N uh, no snow, but definitely could be rainy, drizzly. Pack like you're going to Alaska. Definitely take a warm jacket. A, a, a warm jacket that'll take you down to the 40 degree point for sure. Um, Ruse G said, do you think it's safe to cruise the Eastern Caribbean on Carnival? Thanks, Rebecca. Oh my gosh, yes, of course. I absolutely think it's safe. Just use, you know, good judgment in ports where there's maybe some sketchy things happening like the Bahamas and Jamaica right now. Just book your tours with the cruise line. Jennifer Carrillo says, what cruise lines go to Cancun? No cruise lines go to Cancun, but many cruise lines go to Cozumel, Cozumel, which is a... Um, 
an island off the coast of Cancun. You cannot dock in Cancun on a cruise that I know of. You can take tours that take you over to the mainland for the day, but the, the, the ride is really rough, and I do not recommend it. I recommend you take a land vacation to Cancun, go stay at a beautiful resort or an all-inclusive there. Cancun is spectacular. You could stay in Playa del Carmen. You could stay in Cancun. Um, but I, I honestly do not recommend that people take the day ferries over there. It's too rocky. So I think we're getting caught up. Did I miss anybody's questions? Because as of right now, I think we're caught up. I see Verge Lowe saying hello from Iowa. Hello, Verge. Thank you, Bobby, for clarifying. The Strand is downtown Galveston. Yes. Heather said that's Katie's Seafood. Yes. Love Katie's Seafood. Um, link to it. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So you guys, okay. Fun, fun, fun podcast topic. Last week, you may remember that we started the podcast um, series that we were doing called Unpopular Cruise Opinions. So it was a two-parter. We asked our Facebook community, what are sort of your unpopular cruise opinions? And people had so many fun things to say about it that we had to make it a two-parter. I'm going to link to it, and you guys are going to get a... Um, you guys are going to get a kick out of this, but part two comes tomorrow. Also, we have a very exciting new video coming out. I believe I'm going to be releasing it tomorrow. Normally, I release a new video every Thursday, but I'm so excited about this one that I just can't wait. We have a video coming out called Skip These 17 Cruise Essentials. We asked seasoned cruisers what they're ditching and not taking with them on cruises and what they're packing instead. And we came up with 17 things that were thematic. Like people said, I'm not taking this, I'm not taking that. Many of the people who are here in the chat today contributed to that. Um, so that video is gonna be fun tomorrow. So we've got things that you just shouldn't pack and then sometimes a replacement item. Like instead of this, pack that. So we have that coming and I also have a Carnival Jubilee coming video coming for you guys. I'm going to say that's coming next week, even though I, I might release it sooner, but I got incredible footage and incredible knowledge from being on Carnival Jubilee for the day. I did extensive research. I may or may not have stole a copy of the fun times from day one, and I had a blast. I even got to eat in the main dining room. Didn't have a single cocktail. Kind of blew it there, didn't I? Um, but... <laughs> But I had a blast. Okay, let's get some more questions coming in. Alexandra Halbeck said, favorite things to see and do in Puerto Vallarta. Alexandra, we have lots of vlogs on this. I'm going to tell you first, I want you to go watch our vlogs so you can get a visual for what we did. Zip lining in Puerto Vallarta is amazing if you're high adventure. Otherwise, I like to do a resort for a day. You can book it with the cruise line. You can book it on your own. Hyatt Ziva is a great property. Now Amber, another great property. Call the hotel. Ask them how to get a day pass. So fun. Melissa Lima said, good evening. Look forward to your videos. Thank you. How is Bahamas safety now that they rebuilt the pier area? Well, there's a lot of talk about Bahamas safety right now because there's some high profile crimes that basically have happened recently. And so I would really, I would say, of course, in, that, in the immediate port area, you should be very safe. In most of the Bahamas area, you should be very safe. Right now, if it were me, I would do one of two things. I would either book an excursion with the cruise line or I would go to a hotel that's very safe. I would go do a day at the Atlantis or something like that and get a water park pass and stay on property. That's what I would do. Alfred Collins said, FYI, Galveston package deal only works in international waters. Location, I forgot to add. Location going to Canada. Okay, Alfred, yes. The the package deal only works. So basically what happens with a drink package when you're cruising out of Galveston, you guys, is two things that happen. Number one, Carnival is not allowed to sell you the drink package on day one. They cannot sell it to you until 6 a.m. on day two. So you will not be charged for a drink package on day one. However, you can purchase drinks. However, you can purchase limited drinks because of the overconsumption laws in Texas. We're going to be talking all about that in our video that's coming out. But yeah, you're going to have a limited drink menu. But the drink menus are great. They still have them, and they will post the drink menus at each bar on Carnival Jubilee so that you know what you can order. I saw a lot of people walking around with beers and stuff, too. Like, you can, you can buy a beer, right? And you can buy limited cocktails. Jacob's Journey said, can we book the sanctuary before boarding on Princess? 
I need my princess folks to back me up on this to make sure I'm correct, but I'm pretty sure you can't. I think you have to book it once you're on board, and a lot of people go straight there as soon as they board the ship to book. Oh, Glenn Camp said, I'm going to Barcelona to Casablanca on Seaborn in October. Ideas. Oh my gosh, you lucky dog. Glenn. That is a fantasy cruise. Um, I personally would make sure that when you're in Barcelona that you go see La Sagrada Familia. The um, construction is going to be in progress forever, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's really coming along. It's something I'd love for you to go see. We did a Segway tour in, in Barcelona. It was a really fun way to see the city. I've not been to Casablanca, but enjoy Seaborn. Definitely, if they have the specialty dining on board, make sure you book it um, because it's worth it, and it's so good. Tam Carp said, question, do you, do you prefer out of Galveston in September or February? Either one of those would be really great. Um, for me, uh, uh, honestly, they're both, I think they're both great. It just depends on when do you want to get away. I might say September for me because I would like to get away from the heat in Texas, but then you're cruising out of Texas. So I don't know how much sense that makes. I live in Texas, but yeah, I don't know. They're, I think they'd both be fantastic. You have a slight, slightly higher chance of fog in February in theory, but usually it's fine. Jennifer Brand said, suggestions for Belize City. Highly recommend you do one of two things there. Either book a snorkeling tour on a reef, if you can, or go cave tubing. Or Some people like to go see the ruins, but snorkeling on a reef in Belize is fantastic. The cruise line should have many of those options for you. Um, otherwise, the city's kind of, ugh. Do not just walk around. Don't think you can be entertained just by walking around. In fact, it's like gated off and not safe to walk outside the port. Old Smoky Bowl said, wife and I are doing Southern Caribbean on Royal Caribbean next February. Royal site has a few excursions listed. Oh, when should we expect more options to be listed? Eh, it's really hard to say. Okay, next February. I And, and ask Matt at Royal Caribbean blog this question too. He might know. I don't think there's a magic time when they appear. But I would make, I would set a calendar reminder to just search every 30 days and see if they're popping up. Angie McDonald said, question, traveling solo next February. Any suggestions doing Norwegian Prima from Galveston stops in Costa Maya, Belize, Rotan, Cosmel. You're going to have a blast, Angie. Um, Prima, suggestions for a solo traveler. Costa Maya, Belize, Roatan, and Cozumel. I don't know exactly what I would say. I'm just proud of you for choosing Norwegian. I think you did the right thing. Get involved if you want to in some of their singles and solos activities and take advantage of the fact that they have a host. I think you're going to have so much fun. Tony Martucci said, if I cruised on Holland America, yes, I have. I love Holland America, and we do plan to cruise with Holland America again this year. No more details coming yet, but they're going to be back in our life. One of our favorite cruise lines, Holland America was a cruise line that my husband and I actually cruised on when I was in my 30s. I was really young um, compared to now, uh, and we loved it. It was fantastic. The service was exceptional. The food was really, really good. Loved the cabins. Most of the cabins have bathtubs in them if you get a balcony. Absolutely wonderful. Darlene said, you have to book the sanctuary once you get on board, Princess. You cannot um book it in advance and sheldon said go to the sanctuary first thing when you board it is the best so sheldon's highly recommending it yeah um hall in america is fantastic and i just can't wait to go back on i've been on westerdam mazdam 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 and osterdam all three of those ships and yeah so we'll see what we'll see what this year brings very excited hi alan i see you there buddy Good to see you. Verge says, thoughts on Celebrity Cruise Line? Cruise line. I think Celebrity is a wonderful cruise line. I haven't cruised with them yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. I'd love to try. I've heard they're a lot like Princess, only slightly more contemporary, little bit of a younger demographic, and really, really good food. So we'd love to try it. Hello, Samir. You guys, Samir and his wife are going on an 80s cruise tomorrow on Mariner of the Seas, and they have purchased literally costumes for this cruise. Like you're not even gonna believe this. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, Heather said for those Royal Caribbean excursions, guys, that you wanna look 90 to 120 days before the cruise. Nice. Um, Asha said planning to, planning a makeup cruise next year to make up for missing 
40th birthday just inside it on Woodship. Oh, you're going to have fun. You got it, girl. Danny D said, hey, Sherry, booked celebrity for Japan. Do you need shore excursions for any of the ports? Some said you don't need one. I actually think I would do a combination, Danny. Um, it can be an exhausting cruise because getting there is so long. You know, depending on where you're flying in from, it's probably a 12-hour flight. Then you're going to be you're going to be basically going 12 hours ahead, so your body might be kind of tired. I would um, I would say definitely book a couple, but don't book one every single day. Um, Shimizu is a very walkable port. If you, if you want to DM me your ports, I could try to help you, but I would definitely get out and explore the area some for sure. There are things to do that are walkable in some cities. Alan DeVay said, what kind of chocolate do they sell at the airport? Plain chocolate. Ah, Alan, you the best. I love it. Um, that's a great tip, Douglas, for Angie. Oh my gosh, no, Samir, Quantum's coming to LA? Did that just come out today? I didn't hear about that. No way. That is really, really cool. I had no idea. Quantum is coming to, now are they keeping Navigator out here? Out there? I guess out here. I can't say out here anymore. I don't live there anymore. Whoa. That's so cool. How fun. Tama Carper said they dressed up for 80s night on Carnival Breeze, and it was so much fun. I love Carnival's 80s parties. They are the best. You're welcome, Danny D. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited for your Japan cruise. I feel like you've told me your ports before. Okay, guys, we're headed over to Amazon Live now. It is time for the after party. So we are going to be talking all about travel deals. I have put the link in the description give me a little less than five minutes probably even less than that to get over there what do i have in the live stream tonight let me show you i have a bunch of women's apparel for an alaska cruise some fun new items i have packing cubes tons of uh toiletry type items toiletry bottles all of that stuff and i have a fun new item that i just got it is a portable and cordless hair straightening brush. So you like, you don't, there's no cord. You, once you charge it with USB, you can take it like in your car or on a cruise. This is really cool. Mr. Cruise Tube Studio also has some new um, sunglasses that we're going to be featuring tonight. You're welcome, Asha. Wow, Danny D. G. Mendes said, what ship, what do you like better, the ship or the itinerary? Usually the itinerary. For me, I... I cruise to go places, to travel places. It's not usually the ship itself as much as it is more like, where am I going? And I don't love mega ships. They're not as much my jam. I like small, medium-sized ships. Wow, that's cool. Both ships staying in LA. Why, Jennifer, you can't get the live stream to work? I wonder what's going on there. What happens when you click on it? Um, Andrea, you might need to be logged into your Amazon account. Try just doing it on your phone. If you can, try it on your phone. I'm sorry, Andrea. Oh, gosh, that's weird. Any tips, honey, on that? If someone's having trouble commenting, it probably means that you're not logged in. Usually, it does mean that you're not logged into your Amazon. You might need to install the Amazon app on your iPad. But again, try on your phone if you can. That would probably be good. Hi, Chi. I see you there. All right, friends, this was so fun. Come join us on Amazon Live. We can continue the conversation there. Also, if you had any questions or if you have anything else you want to talk about, we can still talk cruising on Amazon Live and the chat moves slower. You're welcome, G. Mendez. Thank you, Dave, so much for everything. I see your comment there. Mike and Cheryl said don't use Google for Andrea for the, um, the commenting. I haven't, Jill, I haven't been to Norwegian Fjords, but my my suggestion for you would be to pack like you're going to Alaska. So binoculars, a, you know, a puffer coat, a fleece layer, a rain layer, all that stuff. And if you want to come shop with us after this, Jill, we're going to be doing some... Um, some Alaska stuff today. So that will be that time of year. You want to do the, the rain jacket, the puffy jacket, the layers, all that for sure. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for keeping up this Tuesday tradition with us. Let us know what you think about the podcast tomorrow, our unpopular cruise opinions. If you're not subscribed already to our podcast, search Cruise Tips TV Unplugged wherever you listen. And when you see our next YouTube video come out about 17 things you should not take on a cruise because the cool kids say they're out, 
leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Danny D. All right, see you guys on Amazon Live. Till next time, see you on the high seas. Cruise around the week. <laughs>